welcome. We're leaving Kalpower and heading out to Crombert Tops National Park to do some exploring. 4x4 tracks, scenic views and a fair bit of disappointment. What do you reckon? I think, I think there's a hill coming up. Downhill. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Look at all the signs. Bloody hell. It makes you a bit nervous. Soft edges. Not suitable for trucks, buses or caravans. Trucks and buses but, must use low gear. Yeah. I think we will use low gear. I think so. One, two. Holy shit, look at it. It looks like that one near Nuji, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> it says, unsuitable for trucks and buses or caravans, yeah. but trucks and buses must use low gear. Yeah. And it's a logging road. I know, imagine coming up, but jeez, I'll be working hard. Oh, yeah, come on, the exhaust brakes on. Maybe take all their money 
get a boat and sail down, down with the blue, blue waters flow. Yes, this is a place I would go. We might get ourselves lost, we may never be found. had a very eventful and slightly disappointing morning. <laughs> We've driven up here to Karoombit Tops to have a look at beautiful Betsy, a bomber that crashed about 70 years ago and it remained hidden in the bush for 50 years. So they only found it in uh, 20 years ago roughly, yep. in I think 1999. And aboard beautiful Betsy there was eight crew members and they all died so we were going there to have a look at beautiful Betsy and we're super keen and to take you there as well but unfortunately the tracks closed looks like it's been closed for about oh, I don't know about six plus months now seven months who knows why but now we are at the wow Tops lookout and it is magnificent but slightly smoky so we will give you a look and we'll have some lunch oh the rock face is lovely isn't it it is it looks really good and we are camped somewhere down I don't know where we're camped from here <laughs> but we've driven about three hours to get here yeah <laughs> which is pretty unfortunate <laughs> since it's bloody closed but never mind we will still uh, do a few tracks in the area and check it out of course it's a long way down there sure is pretty pretty yeah look how lush the bush is with palm trees and everything Gladstone, Boyne Valley, straight ahead. It's over there on the horizon, the one before the next ridge. Okay. Gladstone and its harbour. Hmm? Can't see Gladstone. No. Too smoky. Is it smoke or is it just haze? Um, it hard. doesn't smell smoky. Yeah. It could be just very hazy. Yeah. All right, let's eat. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. It might be just hazy. 
Ooh, it's warm, isn't it? Yeah. It's very warm. We are happy. Tuna, tomatoes, on rovitas. Yum. What a big disappointment that we can't go to the bomber. Yes. We will dub this place forever disappointment. Mount disappointment, <laughs> not Mount <laughs> Crumbit. Crumbit tops. <laughs> Mount disappointment, eh? Yep. They should have a camp here. <laughs> like how nice. Mm, it's nice. Or would it be too too dangerous? Corombit's escarpment marks the edge of an ancient volcanic cauldra that now rises up to 900 metres above the Boyne Valley. From the lookout, you can see the 100 metre sandstone cliff that formed on top of the older volcanic rocks. The plateau's geology, altitude and weather combine to provide ideal habitat for plants and animals. A good view. Amazing. Look at it.
with shrooms. With shrooms? We could forage. Goat woman! <laughs> Goat woman's back out! Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell and remember we always love a thumbs up. From the lookout you can see the 100 metre sandstone cliff that formed a top the older volcanic rocks. Doesn't, that's not English. I would just say. Formed on top of the older, uh, formed atop yeah. the older, on top. Grasshopper! In the truck. Get out of our camp. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to jump onto our website or our socials and order your calendar, stubby holder, beanie or sticker. And remember, we can send it with a message to a loved one if that's what you prefer.